This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus. Uh, E3 2015, The Road. Yes, I don't know why I messed that up like that. Uh, this code is kicking my ass. Anyway, we're going to talk about Nintendo. Nintendo, of course, is going to do the grand stage uh, presentation. Which is fine because I've been saying for a while now that Nintendo's uh, style of doing things with the Nintendo Directs and the Nintendo Treehouse that they've done the last couple of E3s, the all day thing. Um, or was it just last year? I think it was just last year, but last year, it's a brilliant strategy. Um, you have a presence, you have your booth, but you maintain a visual relevancy by doing these live streams and these reports and things like that and sharing information with people in a more direct presentation that's controlled by you, that's done your way without thought of, hey, I gotta quote unquote compete with these people on stage by outdoing them with their presentation. No, 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 no. That's kind of counterproductive these days. Um, especially now that we have things set up to where you can pick and choose your own venue to give people live content like we do, like we hadn't had when E3 was first like starting to become the biggest thing. It makes more sense to go ahead and do these live events on your own that being said um, a lot of people aren't going to probably check out their stuff because they're not going to be on the whole quote big day um, Nintendo's actually doing their thing the following morning that Wednesday so they won't get the all-day hype but that's not to say that there's nothing to hype behind Nintendo um, we know that there's a new console coming They've announced it. They gave it a code name. Um, I do believe that they are planning on mentioning it a little bit at this E3. So there's something big in the works for Nintendo. What this is going to be, what this console is going to finally end up being, who only knows. Hopefully, they're they're able to give more information, more in-depth, detailed information about it. Let us know where they're headed um, and things like that. Also, we have to see the Zelda game, even though it's not coming out this year. Um, you do have the Star Fox game, which is slated to come out this year as well, but I haven't heard anything about that, which worries me. It's making me think that we're going to get an announcement at this E3 that Star Fox is pushed back as well. Maybe Nintendo will finally figure out the fact that, hey, we have a lot of huge properties that people over the years have been really big fans of. We don't have to just keep doing Mario and Zelda and just about nothing outside of the world Pokemon. It's like Pokemon, Zelda, uh, Mario. Uh, what would be the fourth thing that they do? That's about it as far as their original um, properties. Uh, they still have the big Monster Hunter thing for the 3DS. Uh, Perhaps a Bayonetta 3, they might do that exclusively. I don't know. Um, it didn't do that well. Uh, see, the funny thing about talking about Nintendo is you don't know how much they're willing to put out there because they're so tight lipped and they're so rigid with their presentation. Again, I love the directs, I just feel like they, Nintendo, really doesn't take the time to present their ideas well it, it's not a, it's not even a problem of how they present their ideas it's the fact that they don't present a lot of ideas they show a lot of the same stuff and i would hope that this year we'll get a little bit more like perhaps a metroid game is in the lurks uh kid icarus is another product hell nintendo can do some really cool stuff with sports and action like excite bike excite bike's a good um series punch out series there's a lot of stuff out there that Nintendo can bring to the table that would get people extremely excited. But I'm sure the most exciting thing, of course, is going to be that new console that they're talking about. So I think that's what most of us are looking forward to. 
I'm not gonna hold my breath for it because I know it's Nintendo. Nintendo does what Nintendo wants, and that's one of the reasons why I kind of respect them because they don't just go ahead and do like everybody else to stay uh, relevant. Uh, it bites them in the ass a lot, but at the same time, it's an admirable trait as well. But hopefully, we get to see uh, a lot of content from them this year. For me, my biggest thing is seeing how the open world Zelda is looking. I just want to make sure that that's on par because that's the type of game that would probably get me to want to purchase a Wii U really, really bad. I'm not a big Mario fan, so that never draws me. Um, so, I I am one of their potential buyers based on what they do with Zelda. I definitely want to see that, but I expect it to be a fun, informative uh, show for Nintendo. Hopefully, they'll have a lot of different games to talk about for us. That would be awesome. But anyway, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I'll holler at you later. This your boy, Black Vegas. And I'm out. Deuces.